Hey there, kittens. Hey, boys. Hey, sequins. My blanket is all messed up. It is messed up. Okay. Ooh, you got the back part. It's top full. Time to put up the food for sequins. And since I really can't not feed sequins and feed everybody else, they will all show their support by fasting with her. Ready for your meds, girl? Hey, Mom. <laughs> Zoom! I finished posting the pictures. I mean, I finished processing the pictures, picking out the ones to post. I haven't posted them yet because I need to come in and get medicines and pick up the food. We Mew. Little Miss knows that something's up here. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna need to sweep up the loose kibble. Hey, Mom. She's getting peach fuzz. <laughs> She's like, stop that. This clavamox antibiotics because they got slight ulcers, small ulcers in their mouth. Mom does it though. You chasing your long tail? Sorry, girl. You're so warm. No wonder your sequence like snuggling with you. Uh, we'll be leaving approximately 6.30 in the morning, sequence and I, for her surgery. She's got a hole in her diaphragm. We'll see about getting that fixed. If all goes well, she'll come back on Saturday and be in isolation for a short bit because she's not supposed to run or play or anything serious for at least three weeks.
should be on cage rest in one of my bedrooms for probably a week. Then they'll see about bringing it in here. You guys are crazy. I will be putting the food back down as after I load her up. Did you flatten your brother? Perfect force chasing your tails in. The girls sure like to drink.
starting to get a little belly pooch. And you're eating good. She remembers I gave her the medicine. Yeah, with her hernia and her diaphragm, it's, she was born that way. It's like the vet explained it to me. There's three parts of it that's supposed to come together and close. But they didn't in her case. From indications, it looks like just fatty, fatty tissues is sliding through the hole and not something more serious like intestines and stuff. But they won't know for sure what's up until they open her up and look. If things go well, they will go ahead and spay her at the same time and she comes home Saturday. If things do not go well, such as she needs more involved surgery, for example, there's not enough, the hole's too big to close, so they have to graft some artificial tissue in there. Then she'll go to a specialist with the VCA and they will continue the surgery there. Yeah, but one risk is that since she was born with that issue with her diaphragm. There may be other issues that we don't know about. I take heart in seeing how feisty she is. She's very saucy. And she's actually more active now than she has been earlier this week. But I'm really glad that she did have that energy low because watching her now, I wouldn't think that anything was wrong out of the ordinary. The main concern what we had with rapid breathing was um, catching pneumonia, but her breathing was clear. It turns out there was another reason for the rapid breathing, is that her lungs aren't able to expand wide enough because of the diaphragm issue. So that's why she's doing the quick short breaths. She only got big enough for the issue to actually reveal itself in the past week. Because she was pretty fast and spazzy. She's going to do just fine.
boys were actually the same weight at, during the vet check on Wednesday. 4.3 pounds. <laughs> He's so silly. I can't remember what her weight is, but so let's find out. She's currently two and a half pounds. Let's double check the boy's weight. Okay, I was wrong. He's 3.5, That's how he rolls, which I shouldn't do because now he's covered in litter. Three point three three, so the weights are different now. What was that? What was that? Hold up, dear boy. <sighs> Looks like the ulcer on his nose is bleeding a little bit. What I thought was a little cut there it was actually a little closer. You got a nosebleed. Need to chill out now, boy. Problem with the nose tissue right there, it can take a little bit long a little bit longer to stop bleeding. Should pick up some of that. Quick, quick stop stuff like when we clip their nails too close and the blades a little bit.
looks like it stopped. There's another one of those cardboard tubes over there and I had wrote up some old um, poster board and put it inside. I knocked the tube over and now they're playing with the poster board. The antibiotics that he's on will help close, up, close that. Loosened up his collar a little bit because he grew. I think it's Pucks, the one who's been snoring. Quite a little bleeder there, bud. Sweeping up the food kibble that got spilled.
ready. I'm going to step out now and post the pictures. It's mostly of sequins because it's kind of her night. So enjoy the kittens. Have a nice night.